Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 94 rated new Premier League SBC, Kevin De Bruyne. That's right, the Belgian who plays his football for Manchester City has this nice high rated item. 80 pace, 91 shooting, 94 passing, and 93 dribbling. Those are some pretty nice stats. He is 5 foot 11 with the high, high work rates, as we know. Right footed, doesn't matter though. He's got the 5 star weak foot, and of course, he's got 4 star skills. So, I've got a couple of different squad options for you today. The first one is this Prem team. Uh, so, obviously, he links to everyone, but getting them strong links off of his fellow Man City teammates, Yaya Toure uh, and Raheem Sterling. But this is the, the main team. This is my mega squad, and De Bruyne fits into this squad perfectly. Uh, a really, really nice midfield there of Team of the Year Kante, Prime Rude Hullet, and 94 rated Kevin De Bruyne. It just works. Uh, he deserves to be in a super squad like that. Uh, and I tested him out in, in a couple of different squads today, that being one of them. Now, uh, his in-game stats look awesome. Don't forget, he does have one item currently higher rated, which is his Team of the Year. It would obviously cost you a lot more to, to acquire that than this one, though. Uh, and today, I've gone with the Hawk Chemistry style because, well, his passing and his dribbling stats are both his highest, and I'm fine with them staying at, at that level. Uh, let's just boost his pace somewhat. His, his shooting and his physical, you know, I'm trying to get that strength up a little bit, uh, and the better the shooting's, like, the, the more fun we're going to have. So, and that was the case, actually. I got him in-game and just scored goal after goal after goal with him. Ridiculously uh, dangerous cam with a lot of firepower behind him. I can only really think of, of one negative. Now, when I reviewed the, the Team of the Year version of De Bruyne, uh, I, I don't think I gave him any negatives. Because for me, he was generally like the perfect cam. And this one feels not too far off that whatsoever. But one thing I did notice a little bit was uh, that that high defensive work rate crept into place a little bit too often. Uh, which means that his positioning, albeit like 99 in game means that, yeah, he's perfectly positioned for someone with high, high work rates. I want my cam to be, like, up there supporting the attack and not to worry about getting back and helping to defend. Uh, and, and obviously, he is he's going to spend some of that stamina actually trying to get back and help the team, which is all great for the team. But if he's a centre mid, yeah, that's fine. As an out-and-out -out cam, I really want him to support my strike force. So it's just something to bear in mind that uh, maybe a little bit of player instructions and stuff, telling him to stay forward might be uh, might be in order to, to keep him up front the rest of this though it's all going to be positive because he's mad he is actually a lot of fun uh, and genuinely one of the, the the best cams you can get in this game 94 rated so you sort of expect that right uh, but his acceleration's good i think using the hawk chemistry style has obviously helped that somewhat uh, other than that he's not the quickest you know you take a look at his item itself he's got like 80 pace like it's not the greatest uh, it really isn't but I feel like you don't necessarily need a huge amount of pace at Cam. Uh, as long as he's got the technical stats and stuff, he, he should be fine. But with that little boost with the Hawk Cam style, we actually get him up to near like 88 uh, or 86 pace, one of the two. And, and obviously, that's that's a whole lot better. Uh, his first touch is brilliant. It's he, he basically has the perfect first touch, and he dribbles with the ball so very well. There are countless goals throughout this where uh, I am just weaving in and out, LTRT dribbling, and the, the, the ball control and the, the tight, close control with the ball at his feet is is just phenomenal. I really, really, I just genuinely think that he's up there with the likes of Ronaldinho and stuff of players that weave with, with the ball so very, very well. Um, and of course, he's got four-star skill moves to add to all of that as well. Uh, part of the reason why I think he's a great player is because he, he reacts really well. So his reaction stat is, is nice and high, meaning that once that ball gets played, he's straight onto the run or he's he's there to receive it and stuff like that. So, uh, obviously, uh, I'm a big fan of, of high reactions on this game. He's nice and composed. He's got like 91 composure in game, which, of course, means that... <laughs> He's, he's going to be fine on the ball, like not, not super pressured to get rid of it and then make a, a sloppy pass or something. Uh, everything is played to a good weight. 
Uh, and the shots, of course, are a great example of that. You're seeing all the goals go in. Some of them are perfectly into the top corner, like that goal right there. Uh, strength is another positive about this Kevin De Bruyne. We get him up into the mid-80s, which is always something... Uh, you know, that's not, that's not amazing strength. That's not going to be higher than a lot of centre-backs. But what it is going to enable him to do is just hold them off for that little bit longer. Uh, and maybe we'll retain possession because I can hold a defender off and then play it before I end up getting pushed over. Stamina is brilliant. He'll last all game long, even with the high, high work rates. Uh, and just genuinely one of the more fun players that I've used this year. Uh, who can pick out passes. His vision and passing ability is awesome. He's going to get you assists. But most importantly, if you want him to, he's going to get you goals. Taking shots with that five-star weak foot is just a joy. Honestly, you can he, his shooting stats are, are brilliant as they are, uh, and, the, and then the ability to do it on both feet is just completely game-breaking. I love it. Uh, so yeah, an, an absolute beast on the game. Whether you guys think you, it might be worth waiting out for a team of the season version, or, or of course getting the team of the year in your club, that is another option. Uh, but I really wanted the 94 in my club for the rest of FIFA, and I definitely don't regret it. So guys, let me know. Is 94 rated Kevin De Bruyne right for your ultimate team? Team. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.